Hey, what are you holding? The Mona Lisa. And do you know why? Because we're going to tell them about... The Italian Renaissance. Uh, yes, that's right. This era was fittingly called the Renaissance, which is French for rebirth. It saw the culture blossom and started a revitalization of classical culture. This was inspired by the rediscovery of Roman monuments that had been buried for centuries. In this period, the, the people of Italian cities such as Florence and Rome tried to recreate what they believed to be authentic classical society. This movement gave birth to many accomplished men, such as Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. The time period encouraged philosophy, invention, and the arts. Art from this era clearly depicted the standard for feminine beauty. Pale skin, shining cheeks, and deep red lips were all the rage. Portraits showed women in flowing loose robes made of thin, clinging material that was really quite revealing for the times. And although the women's clothing was becoming a more prominent focus point, there was still a strong emphasis on the paleness of their skin and face. Their foreheads still served as a palette to showcase their pale complexion, and extra care was taken to maintain the skin there. Women continued to pluck their hairlines and would use pumice stones along the hairline to hide any redness or irritation. And speaking of irritation, these women were still taking extreme measures to lighten their complexion. That's right. Like their predecessors before them, these women used many ingredients that are considered highly toxic today. But they truly believed at the time that they were using natural powders and minerals to lighten their skin. While oftentimes not in the safest ways, skin care was moving forward. However, the Renaissance women still had no way to permanently bleach their skin. So as generations before them had, they dusted their faces with various white powders. Continued the use of powders like white lead and chalk. Some women even tried to lighten their skin using arsenic powder. Ew. Yeah, right? The Italian women used many things to make their lips red and highlight their cheeks. Many things, including silver and mercury mixed with lead or chalk. This mix would then be brushed into the apples of the cheeks. Vermilion was another substance used for color. It was a red substance made from cinnabar, something that's left behind in cracks following volcanic eruptions. This was commonly used to paint the lips, a precursor, if you will, to modern lipstick. The common theme in paintings and literature became cleanliness and hygiene. Since their society was being modeled after that of the Romans, the, the citizens of Renaissance Italy were very concerned with personal hygiene. The Renaissance people tried to live out the philosophies that were expressed in the art of the time. Frequent bathing was a sign of dignity and social distinction, but apart from wanting to emulate the Romans, there was another very practical purpose for their commitment to hygiene. Italy had lived through many plague outbreaks. Being hygienic was a matter of life and death. Bathing rituals and skin care treatments were very similar to those that preceded the Dark Ages. When Rome fell, many of their rituals disappeared with them. This left those that took their place the tedious task of rediscovering previously known trade routes and recreating recipes. By the time the Renaissance was underway, most of this work had been done, and new habits like the use of mercury were forming. Speaking of habits, around now it's generally habit to end our video. Yes it is. So check out our Etsy page where you can find all of our products available in our 4 ounce sizes, all for only $14.99 plus shipping, and samples for as little as 99 cents, plus many more exciting products to come. Also don't forget to check out our Facebook page where you'll see all of our latest videos, and follow us on Twitter for centralizing tweets, plus don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Until next time, say, say no, no to common, common sense. sense. Bye. See you later.